All right, so Stamkos is now a 97. Good God, he's going to want so much money. <laughs> um, I like Lofthouse and Stamkos on the first line. I think I want to move Kane down to the second line. Um, he, he's probably helping Stamkos out, getting a lot of points. But we got to spread it out here. Yes, he's got a great offensive category, boys. I know, I know. But uh, I want to spread this out a little bit, okay? So we're going to move Kane down here. Now, who should come up to the first line? Uh, Connolly or Brown? I'm thinking I should keep Connolly for the third line now. Uh, bring up Brown to the second line. So you got Loftos, Stamkos, and Brown. Because Brown's a good defensive player. All right, we need a weak offensive player with a good defensive player. So Stamkos and Loftos are two good offensive players, even though they have two great defensive categories anyways. And then Brown is the really good defensive player on that line. All right, that's what I'm going to go for here. Uh, Simmons, he's the good defensive player with Thornton and Kane, the two offensive guys, all right? And then the third line, you got three, uh, pretty much three uh, offensive guys. I may need a... a ah. The third line wasn't scoring goals, so that's why I wanted to stack it up a bit. Because I know the first and second line will get goals with these lineups. I, I know they will. They have to. It's a, Yeah, they have to. Um, maybe I should move Simmons down and Grandland up. Yeah, I'm going to move Simmons down because, well, who's the good defensive player here? I mean, Kane's got an okay defensive category. Joe Thornton's got an okay defense. Eh, it's getting weak. It is getting weaker. And Grandland doesn't really... But then again, uh, Thornton and Canes are better than Schwartz's. Yeah, Schwartz. Yeah, Thornton and Canes are better than Schwartz. And Thornton and Kane are better. Yeah, so I got to leave Simmons on the third. Yeah, okay. So I like that now. Stamkos, Lofthouse, and Brown. Granlin, Thornton, Kane. Simmons, Schwartz, Connolly. We're going to leave the fourth line as it is. The best fourth line in the NHL. Uh, defensemen, Ekman, Larson, and Hedman. I'm going to leave the defensemen as the way they are. They're all plus players. All right, Bull U's up to 82. Yeah, I'm going to leave the defenseman as it is. Now, power play, it's been trailing a little bit. So let's get, uh, let's fix this a little bit. Okay, so Connolly, Granlin, Thornton. We have our best offensive players, but I think I want to give Brown a chance. I think I want to give Brown a chance. So I'm going to take off Granlin. All right, I know you guys are saying, no, no, no. I got to do it. I want to try it out here. We're going to leave Lofthouse, Kane, and Stamkos all together. Um, but I'm going to try something here. Bolu and uh, Ekman Larson on the same line, okay? Yeah, and then uh, Hedman and Shattenkirk. The second line is going to be Thornton, Connolly, and Brown. And you know what? I'm going to change. Ah, no, let's have a completely stacked first line power play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Brown, Thornton, and Connolly. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Four man power play. Let's get uh, Ekman, Larson, and Bolu. There you go. All right. Thornton and Kane, Stamkos, and Lofthouse. Yep, I'm fine with that. All right. Penalty kill. Lofthouse and Thornton, yeah, they're our two best centers with face-offs, so I wanted to leave those guys in there. Simmons, yeah, I gotta, no, I gotta leave all those guys. I do. No, I do. Our penalty kill, it's, it's our best players that are playing on the penalty kill right now, so I can't really change it up that much. Um, I mean, maybe I could put Chris Kelly instead of Joe Thornton, let's see. Uh, yeah, you know what, I think I could put, just because of the defensive category now, hang on, let's see Chris Kelly. Because he's got good... Yeah, you know what? I'll switch Chris Kelly for Big Joe. There you go. But we're going to leave Simmons, Brown, Lofthouse. Because Lofthouse had a great defensive category with a great face-off rating. Yeah, you see that? I mean, I got... No, I'm leaving Trent Lofthouse in there. Uh, Allen, Hedman, Ekman, Larson. You know, I'm going to leave uh, Shattenkirk up here instead of Allen. And then Ekman, Larson, and Allen. Same thing down here. All right. And instead of Thornton, we're going to put Kelly in there. All right. Shootouts. Yeah, the shootout is fine like that. Uh, I'll just leave there. There you go. Uh, Stamkos and Thornton. Let's put uh, Lofthouse and Thornton, all right? The two better defensive players. And now Bernie Mac is a 90 overall, boys. So again, like, every season you can guarantee he gets one better, one better, one better. So, I mean, again, we still have five years after this. What, by our last year, he's a 95 overall goaltender? Hell yeah, I got no problem with that. And 90 overall, I mean, that's that's good as it is right there. So, yeah, I, I have no problem with Bernie Mac, okay? So, we're, le we're leaving Bernie Mac in the cage. We are definitely leaving Bernie Mac in the cage. So, where are we at? Uh, we got one more month after this. So we'll do the All-Star Game, and then we'll do one more month. Our AHL team, 23, 10, and 7. Um, so they're going to be a playoff team, no doubt. All right, so let's go into... i got to figure out how I can do this now. Would you like to stop and play? Yes, I would. Um, so, oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. So hang on. Let me just see this out. Uh, 
can I edit the lines? Yes, I can. All right. So I can't see. I can see my line. So on my teams, the Sedin, Zetterberg, Ryan, Ben, Duchesne, Nash, <coughs> excuse me, Heatley, Nugent Hopkins, Havlat, Klo, Brule, Mueller. What the hell? None of my players are even starting on it. Bullshiza. Oh, no, this is the Western Conference. Right, right, right. Uh, there you go. There you go. All right. Skull tenders. Rene and Mason. All right. Now let me back out and let me control the... Uh, Oh, I can't even control. Oh, uh, yes, I can. There you go. There you go. Control the Eastern Conference now. We got Ovechkin, Stamkos, and Malkin. Good God. Crosby, Kovalchuk, Giroux. Good God. Versteeg, Tavares, uh, Roy. Good God. Turris, uh, Krejci, and Placanics. So Kane is not even in there. Defensively, uh, Bogosian and Myers, Pitkinen and Delzato, Ekman, Larson, and Dion Phaneuf. So Hedman's not in there. Goaltender. Tuka Rask. Bernier's the backup. Yay! <laughs> it's probably just because of all of his wins. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to back out of this. All right. Uh, sim game. There you go. All right. So let's check out the All-Star game. We'll do a regular simulation here. Uh, time six. All right, let's see what happens. Sam goes. Yes, he steps up for the All-Stars. <laughs> all right. Uh, Malkin. Damn it, that first line, what was it again? Malkin, Stamco. I forget the other guy. That, oh, Kovalchuk or I forget. Maybe it was Crosby, but man, that was just a stack. The Eastern Conference, man. The Western Conference was good, but uh, they, def they definitely have all the older players. And there's a few exceptions because St. Louis is coming up and the guy, you had Chicago. I'm talking about real life now, but man, the Eastern Conference has all the superstars, especially on offense. I mean, you got Crosby, Ovechkin, Stamkos, Malkin, Giroux. Again, like they're just all the young guys that you, uh, you hear about. Western Conference, though, I mean, they're no slouches. I'm not saying that there's nobody in the Western. It's just, for the most part, the really good guys in the West are the guys who are, uh, you know, in their uh, late 20s, early 30s. You know, the Sedin twins, uh, Rick Nash. Um, who else am I talking about here? Who else am I talking about? Uh, Jerome Aginla, Detroit, basically the whole team of Detroit. But again, they're starting to turn it around now. Soon the, uh, the Eastern Conference will be the older guys. And the Western Conference, the guys like uh, Chicago, St. Louis, they're coming up, you know. Uh, Nashville, even. So there you go. <laughs> the Eastern Conference won 9 to 1. Good god. How do we beat them 9 to 1? I know I didn't do too much of a commentary on that game. It's just an all-star game. It's just an all-star game. I can't really get uh, too much into it there. All right. So there you go. Gino Malkin had 6 points. Steven Stamkos had 6 points. And was it Ovechkin on the first line as well? Malkin, Stamkos and Ovechkin. Oh man. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So yeah, maybe we'll turn that into a new thing where I do the all-star game every year, all right? So let's do one more month. And we'll see where our team is standing here, all right? So there you go. Let's see where we are. 35, 12, and 1. Come on, let's win a few games here. we got to get to 39 wins to get back up to a 3-to-1 ratio. So, I mean, we got to yeah, we got to win four games. we got, basically got to win seven games because even when we win four, we have to get another few before we lose another one, right? So here we go. Yeah, maybe those lines were the right ideas. Maybe just to shake it up just a little bit, you know? Just to get it going. Oh, there's a loss. It just jinxed us. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I really, you know what? I really can't complain. I mean, once we get into the playoffs, we're going to be a good team. Uh, we have a bunch of guys with great, uh, Manny Malhotra. Let's see what this guy, ah, uh, his stats are really diminished. No, I'm not going to say yes to him. He'd be a great waiver pickup, but, uh, again, his stats have diminished a lot. So I'm going to say no to Manny. Come on, boys, get to 45 wins before the end of the month. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Did I jinx us? There you go. There's a win over the Islanders. They're a good team too. Uh, L.A., come on, there you go. Chicago, come on, Kane. I want a hat-trick for Kane against Chicago. Man, Chicago, they had a, like a 60-win season last year, or almost 60 wins, I can't remember. And now they're just at the bottom of the barrel. They lose Kane, they lose Sharp, and they're nowhere to be found now. Yeah, so we're clearly not at a 3-to-1 uh, ratio. Definitely not. But that's okay, that's okay. A 60-win season is very tough to get. We need, we just need that superstar goal. If we had this team with a 93, 94 overall goaltender, like I was saying, we would definitely be there. But uh, I'm growing Bernie Mac, right? We traded Rolison and a second for Bernie Mac. So, uh, I don't know. I think it's turning. Damn, look at this little guy. He's got 8, 7.5, and 8. He might be a good player. He might be close to a franchise player. You never know. Um, you know what? I want to keep on looking at this guy because we have Patrick Kane to trade to the draft deadline. I can pretty much get whoever I want. So I might have to go after the first round pick and get a few good players from that team as well. We really have to figure out what we're going to do with Patrick Kane because there's a lot we can do with him. All right, so we'll simulate. This is our last game here. Can we get to 45 wins? No, we can't. So we're 40, 44, 14, and 3. 
Let's see what we're looking like here. Uh, goals against average. Bernier is up there, 2.17. So he got back. He, I remember I wanted him below 2.25. So he's gotten back up there. So that's good. Uh, wins. Yeah, he's up there. Points. Uh, Stamco, 71. He's top five. Assists. Stamco is up there, top five. Uh, goals were not up there, but that's fine. Depth scoring. We're first in the Eastern Conference with 91 points, and we're first in the NHL. So we're in President's Trophy. Uh, we can basically win the President's Trophy. It's within our grasp. You know, all we need to do is it's it's uh, it's in our hands. All we need to do is win games, and we're gonna win the President's Trophy. All right. So in the next video, boys, we're gonna have the trade deadline. I really don't think we're gonna have to make any trades whatsoever. Um, and when it comes down to staging. Um, again, remember how I always pick up waiver pickups? I think I want to keep staging for injury purposes if come the playoffs we get injuries because he's a good player, right? So let me know. Trade deadline. Um, staging, should he stay or should he go? I like him as a good injury player just in case. He's got a good offensive category, an okay defensive category. Um, and we don't really need to trade for anyone right now. We have prospects up the wazoo. We have a full NHL team, and come draft deadline with Patrick Kane, we are going to make a crazy trade and get a bunch of great players. We are going to trade Joe Thornton if he doesn't uh, retire. We're going to trade Wayne Simmons in case uh, our salary can't, uh, if we can't afford him with uh, Stamkos and Hedman and all those guys who are going up, all right? So I think it's going to be a quiet trade deadline this year. But again, just give me your opinions, all right, boys? Trade deadline in the next video.